Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Are you all well? Well, welcome back to part two of a Paddy's Kitchen or cooking your bits for Paddy. So it's very, very straightforward. So what we're going to do today, ladies and gentlemen? Yesterday I purchased a load. When I say a load, I mean a big box full of uh, Jaffa cakes. So today I thought I'm going to invent something. After a conversation last night with my uh, the one that should be listened to and um, her that should be listened to part two. Um, we came up with this particular recipe, and it's going to be basically Jaffa Gatto Fritz. Jaffa Gatto Fritz, basically deep fried Jaffa cakes. So, it's a very, very easy recipe, shall we say. So, what we're going to do first and foremost, a little bit of flour. We're going to sieve that um, scientifically into a bowl. Let me just give you a close up of this. Add a little bit of a bubble and squeak, shall we say. What I want next is a little bit of a bicarbonate. What's that mean? Bicarbonate is a good word for it. Bicarbonate of soda. That's going to be popped into the bowl. Now, we then need one egg. So, this is an egg. I'm going to be very chefy now, ladies and gentlemen. I spent years at culinary school for this. Turn over down. Look at that. It's trading. So, now, for my um, liquid of, of a set of batter, I'm using nothing but the best champagne. A little bit in, let's get some froth up. And then what we're going to do, we're going to mix it all together. We want the consistency of thick pouring cream. That's what we need. So as you can see, I'm pouring away. You might just want a little bit more champagne. Just like that. Mm -hmm. oh. Anyway. We need this, this sort of consistency. Oh, gorgeous, look at that. Look at that cream. I'm going to call that Paddy's cream. Perfect. So, without further ado, the frozen Jaffa cake, they've been in the freezer for half an hour or so. A little bit of flour. And all we do, quite simply, is coat the Jaffa cake in the batter. And we're going to pop them in the fryer. It takes seconds. Seriously, only takes seconds. And there we go. And the next one. In we go. So we're going to have a beautiful orange with the melted chocolate with some beautiful sweet champagne batter. So when we've finished with that, all we need now is our little display plate. So we need to turn them. They don't take long. What we're going to do, we're going to dress them with a little bit of ice and sugar, some ice cream, and then some freshly picked them. This morning, for half an hour ago, some beautifully El Paso Maguire blackberries. And top it off with a garnish of mint. Keep it healthy, keep it fresh. What more you want? So, let's get our little fritz out now. There we go. Remember what they call Jaffo Gatto Fritz. Jaffo Gatto. Jaffo Gatto Fritz. So, Drain off for a second. Oh yes, now we're talking. So, let's pop them on there. So before we go too much further, let me show you what they look like at this moment in time. So now, we're gonna garnish them with some blackberries. Oh, perfect. And then we're going to get very chefy on everybody now. Oh, here we are. We're going to have a little bit of ice and sugar on there. A little sprinkle because it's in lumps for some reason. Let's do it right. Give it a tap. Tap, 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 tap. Don't need that anymore. And we're finally going to garnish with a fresh bit of mint. Are you ready for this now? There we go. Jaffa, Gatto, Fritz. What more do you want? Anyhow, all I'm going to do now, ladies and gentlemen, as always, clean up as you go along, make it easy for yourselves, and I'll see you for part three. Bye-bye.